Hey there, cat lovers. Ever wish your new kitty was super buddy buddy with you? Well, you're not alone, cats are pretty independent and may not always rely on their owner's companionship. Plus, they're slow to warm up to new faces and don't always go crazy for treats. But no matter your cat's breed or personality, you need to establish that trust between you two for a solid and happy bond. This video will break down some easy ways to build that trust and show you when your cat is really digging you. So, let's dive in. Ken Vet Reviewed Ways to Get a Cat to Trust You Number 10. Provide a safe space for your cat. Cats need a secure retreat for comfort, especially when stressed. Even well-adjusted ones may hide when uneasy. Providing this space builds trust. However, be vigilant if your cat hides excessively, loses appetite, appears lethargic, or sleeps excessively. In such cases, consult your vet promptly. Number 9. Respect your cat's space. When a cat moves into a new home, they often need time to adapt. Some may take longer to get used to their surroundings. So, it's advisable to allow them to choose their preferred spots in the house during the adjustment phase. For particularly scared cats, it's essential to continue this approach even after they've become comfortable in their new environment. Number 8. Observe and respect their body language. Keep an eye on your cat's body language to understand how they feel. Look at their posture, eye width, and ear position. If they're relaxed and facing you, they're likely in a good mood. But if they crouch or flick their tail, they might be annoyed. Respect their signals to know how to approach them. Number 7. Allow your cat to come to you. Don't rush your cat into friendship, let them choose when to connect. Cats are experts at observing, so they're learning about you by watching your actions, smells, and sounds. Give them the time to decide if they trust you. While you can encourage interaction, be patient and gentle and respect their boundaries. Number 6. Know your cat's physical contact limits. When figuring out where and how your cat likes to be petted, go slow and steady. Stick to gentle, predictable strokes. If your cat shows signs of getting annoyed during a petting session, like flat ears, tail twitching, or growling, be sure to watch their body language closely. Before we go any further, just don't forget to subscribe to our cute furry channel and smash that notification bell. That way, you won't miss any of the latest updates and videos. Alright, now, let's move on to the next steps to get a cat to trust you. Number 5. Allow your cat to make choices. Cats love calling the shots in their own world. They want to choose when, where, and how they interact, whether it's playtime or finding a cozy spot. Letting them make these choices boosts their confidence and shows you won't push them around. Cats get stressed when they lose control, so giving them this freedom is key. Number 4. Be predictable in your behavior. Avoid startling your furry pal by maintaining a calm and steady demeanor, both in your movements and voice. Don't stomp or make sudden lunges. Consistency is important, even with other pets or children present. Some cats are more sensitive, so predictability is essential to help them feel secure, especially if they tend to be easily startled by sudden actions or noises. Number 3. Establish a reliable routine. Cats absolutely love routines. If you keep doing stuff they love, they'll feel safe and close to you. So, make a daily plan for feeding, playing, grooming, and snuggling. If you can't stick to it, maybe get a pet sitter to lend a hand. Number 2. Reward positive interactions. You can earn your cat's trust and even teach them tricks through positive reinforcement. Use treats, playtime, or petting, if they like it, to reward good interactions. This consistent approach encourages their trust and mental stimulation. Always respect their choices and never reward negative behavior. Number 1. Use calming pheromones. Pheromones are chemical signals that cats naturally produce to communicate. When they rub against you, they release pheromones to signal trust and safety. However, you might want to avoid using pheromones on new kittens as they are more adaptable. Anyway, to build trust and become part of your cat's social circle, use a pheromone diffuser or apply calming pheromones on your skin. And that's all we have for you today. If you had a good time, please show us some love by subscribing to our channel and hitting that like button. 
Your support fuels our furry adventures and helps us bring you more content. And hey, we want to hear from you. Does your cat trust you? Make sure to share what you think right now in the comment section below. Keep it furry.